check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello there everyone! Welcome to another learning episode for English 10 lesson. Handa ka na ba? Tara, simulan na natin! Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Compare and contrast the content of the materials viewed with outside sources of information in terms of accessibility and effectiveness. Most probably, you have already tried to make a poster for a poster making contest in your school. Which between these two coloring materials is more effective to use? Crayons or oil pastel? I bet you'll choose oil pastel, tama ba? Maybe your reason is, kapag oil pastel ang ginamit, mas matingkad ang kulay nito kaysa sa crayons at mas madali ring magblend ng colors to achieve the desired effect. What if naman you are to choose between Enchanted Kingdom or Disneyland? Most probably, what you have in mind is Disneyland, tama ba? But, if we are to consider the accessibility, it is the Enchanted Kingdom which is more accessible. I have mentioned from the given examples the terms effectiveness and accessibility. Pinamili ko kayo kung alin sa crayon or oil pastel ang mas effective gamitin sa poster making. And you chose oil pastel. When asked which between Enchanted Kingdom or Disneyland is more accessible, it is of course the Enchanted Kingdom. Now, let us define these terms. Effectiveness refers to the degree of being able to achieve the desired result based on the information's objective or purpose. While accessibility refers to the quality of being easy to find, obtain, and use. Let's utilize these terminologies in the aspect of comparing and contrasting the contents of one source of information to another. In short, the target of this lesson is to guide you in comparing and contrasting two materials or source of information in terms of effectiveness and accessibility. For example, your task is to compare and contrast the content of the story The Gorgon Said found on your English textbook versus its counterpart video adaptation on YouTube. After reading the selection and after viewing the video, you will analyze which between the two materials is more effective and more accessible. By the way, natatandaan nyo pa ba yung video lesson natin about the different sources of information? If not, kindly check out this video. Meanwhile, here are some graphic organizers used for comparing and contrasting. Graphic organizers like Venn Diagram and the ones presented are particularly suitable for displaying comparisons as they can usefully display areas of difference, as well as any overlapping similarities. Now, to create an effective and conclusive comparison out of numerous information, you have to use conjunctions and transition words like the ones listed below. Comparison words Like Likewise Same as Also To Both Similarly 
in the same manner, in like manner, in the same way. Contrast words, but, yet, although, even though, whereas, in contrast, conversely, dissimilarly, nevertheless, however, on the other hand. Let's test your knowledge. Identify the appropriate conjunctions or transition words to complete the following sentences. Number 1. Watering new plants is necessary for growth. Blank. Too much water can ruin them. A. Like. B. However. C. Also. D. Similarly. The answer is B. However. Number 2. Blank the book and the movie open with the same scene. A. Likewise. B. Also. C. Yet. D. Both. The answer is both. Number 3. I brought a cake. Carla blank brought pie. A. Two. B. Both. C. On the other hand. D. Although. The answer is C. On the other hand. Number four. These homemade cookies are delicious. Blank. This butter cake is very flavorful. A. Likewise. B. In contrast. C. However. D. Both. Answer is A. Likewise. And lastly, Tuba Taharif is one of six UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Philippines. Blank, Puerto Princesa Underground River. A. But. B. Yet. C. Same as. D. Although. The answer is C. Same as. Comparing and contrasting information from multiple sources allows you to create a comprehensive view of topics. From this point, I'll guide you with the steps on comparing and contrasting sources of information. Step 1 is note-taking. Say for example, you are to analyze an infographic and an article about the effects of smoking. You will then record as much information as possible in note form or bullet points using this graphic organizer. Step 2 is to identify similarities and differences in the content of the two materials. Based on the information that you have extracted, you will identify the similarities and differences between the infographic and article using a Venn diagram. And in the final step, you will craft the connections. So, based on your answers in the Venn diagram, you are now ready to construct sentences that show comparison and contrast using appropriate conjunctions and connecting adverbs. Now, let's dig deeper into comparing and contrasting these materials in terms of their effectiveness and accessibility by pondering on this set of questions. What is the infographic and article all about? How is the information presented? Which is more effective, the infographic or the article that you read? Why? Which source of information is more accessible? Why? 
Great job! After completing all those tasks, you are now able to master the skills in comparing and contrasting. Soon, you'll be equipped with skills that will be helpful, especially in research where you need to be a critical thinker. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!